Hello and welcome to another edition of Bomb Chew News. My name is Chris, I'm joined by Andron, and today we'll be covering the news that we found interesting. GameStop has confirmed that it is currently in talks for a possible buyout. Following the leak from readers this past Monday, GameStop has stepped forward to confirm that there is a potential transaction in the works. Like most major companies, the pre-owned video game Schiller did not go into details as to when they would have the final word, however apparently there has been buyout interest for some time from private equity companies such as the New York-based Sycamore Partners. This news shouldn't come as a shock, however, as in May of this year, GameStop Chief Executive Officer Michael Mahler departed his post after only three months on the job. The video game retailer said Mahler's sudden departure was for personal reasons, however with the revelation of a possible buyout in progress, it seems this may not have been the full story. To add more credence to the possibility of a buyout, GameStop closed around 150 stores in 2017, which tends to show that a company is struggling. With the decline of physical media and the rise of games as a service as well as digital purchases being pushed by Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo, it was really only a matter of time before GameStop started to feel the sting of this industry shift. Disney and Nintendo have announced that they're working on a new TV show based around the Nintendo Switch. The show will be a family competition game show called the Nintendo Switch Family Showdown. The game show will feature four families competing for different objectives in a variety of Switch games. Some of the examples offered included searching for collectibles in Super Mario Odyssey and having a dance-off in Just Dance. While I'm sure the show will be aimed more towards kids, it's still cool to see a gaming-based competition show like this on TV. Between this and Disney previously airing the 2017 Evo Super Smash Brothers tournament, it seems like Disney is serious about getting more esports and video games on their channels. The Nintendo Switch Family Showdown is set to premiere this summer on Disney XD. Cyberpunk 2077 has been confirmed to not have any loading screens. According to an article sourced by IGN from the Spiel Times, Kyle Rowley was quoted as saying there were no loading screens after the initial load into the game. This was heard in the official Cyberpunk 2077 Discord, and since Rowley is an associate design director for CD Projekt Red, he has pretty good credence to the claim. CD Projekt Red's Witcher series was notorious for having long load times at the most inopportune moments that broke up the action significantly, so Cyberpunk 2077 making the leap to a seamless world will really increase the immersion in their beautifully crafted environments. This news coupled with the secret message in the E3 2018 reveal trailer really has me excited for the newest RPG, and I could hardly wait until it finally hits PC. Cyberpunk 2077 will release on PS4, Xbox One, and PC when it's ready. Mojang has re-released the collectible card game Scrolls for free, but under a new name. Development for Scrolls stopped back in 2015, but Mojang announced via a blog post today that Scrolls was being re-released for free and with the new name of Caller's Bane. The name change most likely has to do with the trademark dispute between Mojang and Bethesda over the Scrolls name. The dispute ended when Bethesda decided Mojang could use the Scrolls name as long as they weren't competing directly with each other. Now that Bethesda has its own card game in Elder Scrolls Legends, Mojang's Scrolls could be seen as competing with that game, so the name change makes sense. Either way, the game is now available for free, and users are able to modify every aspect of the game and run private servers, allowing them to quote, rebalance the game entirely, change some of the rules, create new trials, and many other things straight in the database, end quote. Caller's Bane is available for free at callersbane.com. Well, that's all the news that we found interesting today. Let us know what you thought about it down in the comments below, and we'll see you next time.